Hello and welcome back. So now in this video we will add the basic player movement to our player game object. So if we click on the player, as you know in the previous video we have added the character controller. So the character controller is basically an engine which will move our player game object. Okay. So for that we will be needing a script. So in the assets, let's create a new folder by the name of scripts and in here we will create a new folder by the name of player and inside this player folder it will contain all of the scripts attached to the player game object okay so the first script will be the player script okay so create a player script then click on player game object and drag and drop this script right there that's it now double click on it and open it in visual studio code or any text editor which you are using okay remove the start and update function and at the top we will create a header by the name of player movement okay and in here we will simply create a public float by the name of player speed this will be equals to 1.9 f after this we will create a new header by the name of player animator and gravity and here we will be creating a reference to our player character controller so type public character controller and let's name this as cc or you can name this whatever you want okay and after doing that we will create a new function then which will be by the name of player move okay and in here we need some inputs okay because uh, we want to move the player okay so as you know for the movement we need uh, inputs for the forward and backward direction and then for the left and right direction as well so right here create a float by the name of horizontal axis and this will be equals to input dot get axis raw and we want to get the horizontal axis so we will say horizontal after this we need the vertical so we will say vertical underscore axis and this will be equals to input dot get axis raw and let's get the vertical okay and basically this horizontal and vertical are the predefined control inputs in the unity so click on edit okay right here and then click on project settings and in the input manager as you can see we have this horizontal and vertical okay so this horizontal is for the left and right and these are the keys which is assigned okay which is a and d and then the left arrow key right arrow key and then for the vertical it is the up arrow key down arrow key and then the s and w okay so now if the player is pressing the a key or the left arrow key then this horizontal value will be one and if the player is pressing the d key or the right arrow key then the value will be minus one and the same for the vertical if the player is pressing the w key or you can say the up arrow key the value will be one and if the player is pressing the s or down arrow key the value will be minus one okay so now we have the inputs for moving the player forward backward left and right now we need to assign a direction to our player in which the player will move so for that we will create a vector 3 by the name of direction and this will be equals to new vector 3 so for the x value we will pass the horizontal because it is the left and right then for the y which is not needed for our player so we will leave this as 0f and then for the forward and backward we will pass the vertical axis okay and then we want the player movement to be normal okay to be smooth so for that we will use the dot normalized keyword at the last okay and now we have the 
direction in which the player will move now right here at the last we will type that if the direction dot magnitude is greater than or equals to 0.1 f it means that if the player is moving then what we want to do as you know that we created a reference to the character controller okay and as i told you that the character controller is an engine or motor that will drive our player so by using the character controller we will move our player so we will say cc or character controller dot move and we want to move it in the direction okay which we give it to the player this direction and we will normalize that and then we want the player movement to be according to the player speed and we want that movement to be time dependent so we will then multiply it by time dot delta time that's it so now we have a basic player movement as you can see this is the inputs then after taking the inputs we create a direction and then we say that if the player is moving then we want the player to be moved from its current location now right here at the top let's create an update function and inside this update we will pass the player move function okay that's it now let's save the game and if we get back to unity click on player as you know the player speed is already added we actually want the player speed to be 1.1 also change it in the script as well to 1.1 you can keep the speed at according to your player but i will leave this as 1.1 and then we will be needing to attach the character controller but first of all let me move the script right there at the top and then let's drag and drop the character controller that's it now if we play the game as you can see now if we press the w key as you can see our player is moving in the forward direction then to the right side and left side and backward as you can see but our player doesn't have any rotation but don't worry about that we will add rotation to our player but for now as you can see we have a basic player movement as you can see so with this done let's just end this video right here